Hey everyone, how's it going? Code Creator and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be showing you how to do background tasks for your Discord bot so that way it will never go offline. We're going to be doing this in two parts. The next video will be uploaded very soon. This part is background tasks. The next part will be online hosting. I hope you enjoy. If you guys missed out on... I won't be showing you how to make the bot because I will have a link in the description. To a video on how to make it so you guys can watch that video if you haven't made your bot yet and then you can come back to here so once you've done that step we're gonna move on straight to the code all right you're gonna start off by doing import discord on line one press enter then you're going to do from discord.ext import commands comma space tasks press an enter then you're going to do from enter to from iter tools import cycle do go from line three to line six then you're going to want to do bot equals commands dot bot and then the brackets you're going to do command commands underscore prefix equals and then in the in the quotation marks you can add your command prefix for your discord bot with an ending bracket do an enter and do status space equals space cycle with brackets and then different types of brackets you guys can tell me in the comments what those are uh the the uh, the flat brackets whatever they're called you and then this is where you're gonna want to put what your state what your status is so this is gonna keep it running so it doesn't go off it's gonna keep switching so because every time it does a command it will stay online so if it keeps switching its custom status that way it'll stay online so you can add in those two in this in those two sections what you want. For us, we added uh, coded by, and then we put our names, and then we put comma. Then we did our uh, command prefix that people can use. But you can do anything as long as it's two different custom statuses. Do an enter from seven all the way to twelve. Then you're going to do want want to do at bot dot event. Enter async def on underscore ready with two brackets. And a colon do an enter in a tab you're going to want to do change underscore status dot start with two brackets press enter then you're going to want to do print in the brackets you're going to do want to do brackets your bot is ready go from an enter go do two enters then go all the way back you're going to want to do task at tasks dot loop in the brackets you're going to do want to do seconds equals 10 do an enter then you do async def change underscore status with two brackets and a colon press an enter then do a tab you're going to want to do a two tab sorry await bot dot change underscore presence with two with brackets saying activity equals discord dot game add another uh inside bracket then you want to do want to do next do another inside bracket status and then three outside brackets do uh, an enter from 19 to line 23 then you're going to want to do bot dot run in the brackets you do uh your quotation marks and then you put in your bot token that you got from discord developer portal all right, so if you went through every step and you did it all right, your bot should be online, ready to go. Now, here's what we did. Here's what here's what we did. If you go over to your Discord, oh yeah, this is the uh, Code Creator Ink server. If you guys do want to join, link will be in the description down below. Random plug, just saying. This is CC Bot. Now, CC Bot has been in the works for. It's gonna be in the works for a while. It's still in beta. But as you can see, it has a custom status saying more commands coming soon and then coded by double D in the real slick nick. This is an example of what we did for the custom status. So since there, since every time it does a command, the boss stays online, it, every, since it's doing a command like every like 10 seconds, it's not going to go offline because it's continuously over and over doing a command so that way it won't go offline. Now, also keep in mind, this isn't the full ending of this tutorial. There is a part two, which will be linked in the description once the video is out, probably in a few days. 
and that will be how to host your bot to keep it online and that is pretty much it thank you guys for watching today's video of code creator i hope you enjoyed stay tuned for part two coming in a few days coming near you i don't know whatever you want to call it hit the subscribe button join our discord down in the description there'll be lot there's lots of helpers to help you out if you have any coding problems and i'll see you next time peace